Hello everyone and welcome back to the Denver Broncos franchise. I've heard you guys in the comments and I know that for the most part everyone wants Russell Wilson gone and I agree. If we take a look at his contract, it is brutal. He has a $97 million signing bonus. It would be $82 million release penalty. His cap hit this year is only $22 million, but it gets really bad over the next several years. And, you know, he's 34, 78 overall. He's not going to get a lot better. The only way that makes sense to trade him is to give up quite a bit to get rid of him. And I think I've come up with a way to do that. So this is the trade me and a friend of mine came up with. Ryan Tannehill, his contract ends this season, but he has a $36.6 million cap hit and is a downgrade at the quarterback position. They would also be giving up a seventh round pick. In return, they would get Russell Wilson, Cortland Sutton, two fifths, and next year's second. And in all honesty, you look at this and I think in Madden terms, this is very lopsided in favor of the Titans. I think that's the only way that you can make it work. In real life, the Titans aren't going to one for one trade Ryan Tannehill for Russell Wilson. They are about to get out of Ryan Tannehill's contract. It doesn't make sense for them to trade for Russell Wilson and get his contract back again, essentially, unless they're getting a lot in return. So you, you really have to consider the contract of Russell Wilson when you're thinking about this trade. I am offloading Russell Wilson, who is like locking up a ton of cap room over the next five, six years, and who will just lock up the quarterback position and sort of keep the rebuild in a state where it's never going to move forward if we're keeping Russell Wilson. The Titans, by taking this, are getting a lot of draft capital in two fifths and a second next year, as well as a slight upgrade at quarterback, and they absolutely are in a position to win their division. They are tied with everyone else in their division, and a wide receiver that will really help out their wide receiver room. So yes, in a one-to-one -one trade, if I was just doing this for Madden purposes, this is absolutely a terrible trade for me. In terms of realism, which is kind of what I'm going for in this Madden rebuild, I think that this makes sense and we're going to do it. Russell Wilson has officially been traded to the Tennessee Titans alongside Cortland Sutton and a few draft picks. In return, the Broncos are receiving Ryan Tannehill and this year's seventh. Let's be honest, the Broncos are one and four and are not in a position to win now. And, you know, maybe the situation is better next season and we're in more of a position to win. At that point, Russell Wilson is just regressing even more. It's time to move on from one of these older quarterbacks. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill is an older quarterback. In fact, he's a year older than Russell Wilson, but he's on the final year of his contract. So we're gonna finish out the year with Ryan Tannehill, and then we're gonna move on to whoever our new QB is going forward. That does also mean I'm going to be signing Montrell Washington from the Denver practice squad to finish out the rest of the season, as now obviously we are short a wide receiver. Here's what the depth chart is going to look like at wide receiver now. Jerry Judy obviously is the wide receiver one. He just got superstar development. He is the wide receiver one of the future. Marvin Mims Jr. is the new wide receiver two. Philip Dorsett obviously should probably be the wide receiver three. Again, it's an age thing. He's 30 years old. He's not getting better. We know who Philip Dorsett is. I'm going to give Anthony Schwartz a chance to be the wide receiver three. And while obviously this is a massive downgrade from Cortland Sutton, I do think that to an extent, it was probably time to move on from him anyway. It's time for a new era of Broncos football, and that gets started this week against Kansas City, where Ryan Tannehill will become the new starter for the Denver Broncos. Devin Bush, as I've said before, is the middle linebacker that I want to be one of my two middle linebackers of the future. So we do need to attempt to re-sign him, but our cap is kind of busted now. We have negative 31.4 remaining cap. So a lot of this is gonna need to happen at the end of the season probably when the cap gets freed up. At the moment, we literally cannot re-sign anyone if I wanted to. We do have some player upgrades. I believe at this point, I'm not going to trade Justin Simmons. I think I will continue to keep him around. I think even when he starts regressing, he's going to be really, really good depth. And he's only three seasons away from having the mentor tag. And he's a 93. He'll probably improve for one more season and then start regressing, I would imagine. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this game against the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Chiefs in Arrowhead. We play Kansas City almost back to back, only separated by one game in the middle where next week we play the Packers. But it's Chiefs, Packers, and then Chiefs again. So we're getting step one out of the way as we will take on Patrick Mahomes at his home in Kansas City. We are underway here in Kansas City. Kansas City will be starting with the ball, so it'll be a little bit before we get to see this new look Denver offense as Patrick Mahomes comes onto the field for the first time today. We'll take a look at his stats so far this season. 1,319 yards, seven touchdowns, and one interception. Do you really expect anything less from Patrick Mahomes? And you know what? Honestly, through five games, I find that number of uh, touchdowns to be a little low, actually as Mahomes looks to throw on first down. It's broken up, almost knocked in the direction of Drew Sanders, falls incomplete. Of course, gonna have to stop Travis Kelsey today. And we do have a healthy Devin Bush, so our two middle linebackers are healthy. So it's a throw across the middle. That's caught by Marcus Valdez-Scantling, and that'll be a first down. On first and 10, Epinesa on the rush. Mahomes rolling to his right, looking downfield for Kelsey, it is caught. Justin Simmons couldn't break it up, and it's a big reception for the tight end. Mahomes already in the zone. I mean, this defense has not been good so far this year, so I doubt it gets much better at this point. It's a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco, brought down by Devin Bush. Second and seven after the run. We'll see if Mahomes continues to hand it off to Pacheco. He is not, and it's gonna be a throw left side. That's Kadarius Toney. He's brought down by Caden Stearns at the 17. It's going to be first and 10 Kansas City. Will the Denver defense be able to manage a stop at any point this game as Mahomes throwing again all day finds his target? Kelsey, it's a pickup of six. Kansas City, of course, with two members of the 99 club here in Madden. Mahomes and Kelsey, second and four, looking to throw Mahomes rolling. Throwing across the middle, it's caught. That's MVS again. And it's another first down inside the five. Denver hoping, praying even for a stop at this point. First and goal from the four. It's a handoff and tripped up is Carter at the one. I'm not sure who that is. Roger Carter is their fullback on that carry. Interesting. They only have Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards-Alaire for their running backs. Pacheco back in the game on second and goal from the one. It is a throw for Mahomes caught in the end zone. Kadarius Tony touchdown Chiefs. And that went about how I expected, where the Denver defense just could not do anything to stop the Kansas City offense. And a pretty easy touchdown on their first drive. And here comes Ryan Tannehill for the first time as the Denver Broncos quarterback. We'll take a look at his stats. Obviously, none of them are actually mine, but 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns, and a pick. Honestly, we had been having a really good season. I am almost certain to ruin those numbers. So on first and 10 from the 19, we'll hand it off to Javante Williams so I don't have the chance yet. Nick Bolton wraps him up at the 20. So it's second down, and we're probably going to have to throw with Tannehill on second and 10. Try to find Jerry Judy across the middle. He makes the catch, a pickup of nine. Third down and one from the 28. Running in the directions of Chris Jones is never a good idea, but it works out this time. Of course, Denver now without wide receiver to Cortland Sutton. So it's kind of just the Jerry Judy show at this point definitely puts us a little bit more on the market for a wide receiver in the upcoming draft or in free agency this offseason keep in mind this doesn't mean that i'm you know looking to tank or anything i'm still going to play every single one of these games like it's you know an absolute must win and you know if somehow because that's a great game for javante williams and you know if somehow we end up with a record that it has us closing in on the playoffs i'm still going to make that playoff push so regardless of who is on this roster this is a team that I will try my best to take care of. Also, you do have to remember that although much larger, Tannehill is quite the athlete, They're very similar to Russ. They honestly have fairly similar play styles, I feel like, as Tannehill will keep, can't stiff arm the defender and loses two yards. So on third and six from the 48, we'll look to throw Tannehill across the middle, finds Dorsett. Who's up to the 39. If we look at the ratings, Tannehill actually quite a bit more accurate in the short and medium game, where Russ was very inaccurate in medium range, a sack 
for Chris Jones. It doesn't matter how accurate you are if you can't get the ball off. So that presents a second and extremely long. We'll look to run with Javante. He's got a big running lane. Breaks a tackle. Has more running room and has the first down. Goes out of bounds at the 25. A big run for Javante. I'm really, really enjoying this series. So I hope you guys are as well. From the 25, we'll go play action. And we'll roll. Chris Jones about to get another sack. There was no way to throw that to the left side of the field where everyone else was. So throw it away. You know what? Honestly, the running game has been working. So maybe I shouldn't stray away from it. From the 25, it's a handoff to Javante Williams this time. Next to nothing, a pickup of one. Third and nine for Denver. So Tannehill will be throwing here. Dulcich open and into the end zone. Denver touchdown. That is a throw that Ryan Tannehill is much more likely to hit than Russell Wilson because of the medium throw accuracy. Ryan Tannehill, as I said, much more accurate in the medium and short range, whereas Russ is much better deep and has a stronger arm. But honestly, that's not the game we're trying to play. This PAT will tie the game up. Will Lutz kick up good. It is 7-7. After a good return, Kansas City will start with the ball at the 41. And Mahomes will fake to Pacheco and throw quickly. That's backup tight end Noah Gray, I believe, and he has a pickup of eight. Second and two from the 49 after the Mahomes completion. And Epinesa's in the backfield. He forces a fumble. He punches it away, and it's recovered by Devin Bush. Two people we traded for recently come up with a huge play. AJ Epinesa, a sack fumble. Devin Bush with the recovery. This was insane. Epinesa forces the fumble and punches it away to Devin Bush, who dives for it. The Broncos take over. What an insane series of events for the Broncos, as Tannehill will take back over. And off to Javante Williams. Can't break Nick Bolton's tackle. It's a pickup of three. That makes it second down and seven. From the 44, Tannehill to throw, dumping it off to Javante Williams. Cuts it up the field and has a first down. That brings us to the end of the first quarter where the Broncos have taken over in Kansas City territory. First and 10 from the 35 for Denver. And looking to throw down the field, looking for Jerry Judy. It's overthrown by Ryan Tannehill. Judy did have a step, so I don't regret making that throw. From the 35 on second down, I'll hand off Javante. Can't break the tackle. It's a pickup of two. After a hot start on the ground, it has definitely slowed down a lot. And on third and eight from the 33, Tannehill looking to throw. Judy open down the field, makes the snag. It's knocked out. Fourth and eight upcoming. I can't help but think that Jerry Judy should have come down with that. Will Lutz will attempt a 50-yarder here. The kick is up, and it is right down the middle. It'll be 10-7 in favor of the Broncos. Last time he had the ball, Mahomes, of course, was stripped of the ball and throwing quickly to Kelsey, who breaks the tackle and outruns everyone else. Has a huge gain. He's up to the 42. I almost just wish I could put Pat Sertan on Travis Kelsey, but I don't think I can. So for the most part, it'll be a linebacker covering him, which isn't going to work out great for me. And that time it's Kadarius Toney covered by K1 Williams. That makes it first and 10 from the 44. Mahomes from the shotgun. Will hand off to Pacheco and Epinesa in on the tackle as well as Devin Bush. A pickup of one. Those two players we traded for are performing pretty well so far. I'm going to change the play up here since they did. And Travis Kelsey wide open on the right side. Brought down shortly afterwards to the 25 go the Chiefs. Well, it seems either we force a turnover or the Chiefs are just going to move down the field like it's absolutely the easiest thing they've ever done. This one incomplete. A few people in coverage. Second and 10 for Mahomes. And he'll hand off to Pacheco. Brought down from behind by Epinesa. Drew Sanders was in there as well. It is third down from the 19. Can Mahomes manage a conversion? 
throwing across the middle. It's caught Isaiah Pacheco, and he punches it in. Touchdown, Chiefs. Man, if we are not forcing a turnover, it is just going to be easy all day for Kansas City. Pacheco on the reception this time. Runs it forward with a couple Broncos draped all over him. He runs it past the goal line. Touchdown, Chiefs. The Broncos take over. It's 14-10 for the Chiefs. Eight minutes left to play here in the first half. Samaj P. Ryan is in the game. It'll be a run to him. Breaks through a couple tackles. Has a pickup of four. Second and six now. We'll go play action. Tannehill looking to throw. Rolling all the way to the right. Going to throw it away. I didn't realize that that play was a rollout. And it doesn't make sense. You're rolling to the right. But every single one of your targets is on the left. So that, yeah, that play just didn't make a ton of sense to me. Third and six. Tannehill looking to throw throw Dulcich is kind of open it's swatted away it was inaccurate anyway from Tannehill it's fourth down and Denver will punt the Denver defense struggling really the entire season other than maybe week one and against the Bears Pat Sertan has this completed on him it's Rasheed Rice and Kansas City already to midfield zone coverage might really be our best bet as on first and ten from the 50 Mahomes out of the shotgun, will be throwing again. Sitting down on the right side is Kelsey, and it's a completion to him. That makes it second and seven. Mahomes changing up the play. Six minutes left to play here in the second quarter. It's a fake to Pacheco, and across the middle, dropped by Kadarius Toney. Third and seven. Can the Broncos get a stop? Mahomes throwing quickly, dropped. By Kadarius Tony, K1 Williams didn't even break this up. It's fourth down. The running game was working early on and then just has kind of fallen off of a cliff for Denver. I'm going to go back to it here and hope we can do something. No holes opened up, though. Second down from the 21. Denver to throw and looking for Dulcich. He hangs on. It's going to be third and four. On third down from the 26, I was going to run, but honestly, Chris Jones scares me, so I'm going to go play action. Oh, okay, we didn't go play action. Oh, oh, they have, dang it, they have a thing that screws up play action, uh, a momentum thing. I said they have a momentum thing that screws up play action. It screws up audibles is what I was trying to say, but I was flustered, so... Broncos have to punt it away. Riley Dixon on the kick. This likely to be a fair catch, and it is. The Chiefs will take over. Denver got one stop, so surely they can get another, right? It's 10-14 with a little over three and a half minutes left to play here in the half. Mahomes changing up the play like crazy once again. Will throw Rasheed Rice on the reception, brought down by K1 Williams, but a first down. First and 10 from the 38. Crossing three minutes left to play, likely. It's Mahomes throwing. It's MVS on the reception. First down, Chiefs. On first and 10 from the 45, Mahomes moving quickly, snapping quickly, throwing quickly, knocked away by PS2. It'll be second down. Second and 10, empty set for Mahomes. Obviously probably looking for his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, but instead throws it inaccurately to the right side of the field. It'll be third and 10. Can the Denver defense make one more stop from the 45 Mahomes throwing across the middle knocked out of the hands of MVS by Fabian Moreau and it's fourth and 10 and the Chiefs probably gonna punt first and 10 now from the 14 for Denver looking to possibly take a lead into the second half throw this for Anthony Schwartz who makes the grab brought down to the 19. That brings us to the two-minute warning, 10-14 in favor of the Chiefs. On second down and five, Tannehill looking to throw, looking for Dulcich. It's inaccurate in his direction. It'll be third down. Third down and five for Denver. From the 19, Tannehill is going to take a sack. The Chiefs call a timeout. We'll have to punt it away. A couple of punts back and forth now as the Chiefs take over. From about midfield, they are definitely winning the field position battle. From the 49, Mahomes will be throwing off of play action. Travis Kelsey is wide open. Justin Simmons couldn't bring him down. It's a first down to the 26. First and 10 now after the big pickup from the tight end. From the 26, Mahomes throwing again. It's MVS. Drew Sanders was in coverage. He's down at the 8. The Chiefs looking prime to score. 30 seconds left to play. From the eight, Mahomes by himself, firing left side, out of bounds, Isaiah Pacheco. 
Denver hoping to hold the Chiefs to a field goal here. I think that would honestly be the ideal outcome. As Mahomes throws left side again. Rushy Rice blown up. They'll call a timeout. From the four, it's third and goal. Denver, like I said, going to try and hold them to a field goal here. Throwing Kelsey end zone touchdown. Who else? Travis Kelsey, his first touchdown on the day, gives the Chiefs a lead. It's going to be 20 to 10 and likely 21 to 10 headed into the half. The Chiefs with all the momentum and before the half will just run it with Javante Williams. See if maybe he could get some type of big carry, but nothing happening. I'm going to let the clock tick down. We head into the half down 21 to 10. We're honestly a little bit more in this than I anticipated, but the offense has not been very good so far. The rushing attack and the passing attack was good early on, but really was a pain since kind of our first and second drive as there are no games around the league to take a look at. So we'll just go ahead and skip to the second half. Broncos do start with the ball. So a bit of an opportunity to at least get a little bit closer here in the start of the second half as Javante Williams has a decent carry. If Jerry Judy could have just held his block for a second longer. Second and seven from the 28. We're going play action as Tannehill will look to throw here. Looking for Judy on the run out of reach. Third and seven. Like I said, it has been hard to get anything going on the ground through the air. It does not matter. We'll try to set up a screen this time for Javante, and it looks like this should be plenty for the first. And it is. First and 10 from the 43, as Samaje Pirine has checked into the game. And we'll go to Judy inaccurate over the middle from Ryan Tannehill. So on second and 10, Tannehill will hand off to Javante Williams. Actually, it's Samaje Pirine, who breaks a tackle and has a huge carry down to the 35. We'll keep Pirine in the game. I didn't even notice it was him in the backfield on that last play from the 35. We'll go to him again, and he doesn't have much, a pickup of two. Second and eight from the 33, Tannehill to throw, looking for Dulcich, and he just drops it. It's going to be third down. This Kansas City pass rush has been pretty potent, so I don't have high levels of optimism swatted away by Bolton and we'll have to settle for a field goal probably. Will Lutz's kick is up, it is good, and it is 21 to 13. Denver chipping away just a little bit at that lead. Chiefs take over, it is first and 10 for them. From the 25, shifting everybody to the right side of the field, that's Rashi Rice and Kadarius Tony. And it's gonna be a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco who cannot break a Devin Bush tackle, it's only a pickup of two. That brings us to second down. As Devin Bush is lined up on Kadarius Tony, and you know what, I'm gonna let it happen. Let's see what Devin Bush can do. It doesn't matter because it's going straight to Travis Kelsey, who's got some of the most sure hands in the NFL. And it's to the 44. So from the 44, it's a fresh set of downs for the Chiefs. And Mahomes with Pacheco in the backfield will hand it to him. A great block from Noah Gray as Drew Sanders can't catch up. Justin Simmons eventually pushes him out of bounds at the 34. First down, Chiefs. Feel like I've been saying that all day. But on first down from the 34, Mahomes throws quickly. Kadarius Tony makes a man miss and is brought down by Caden Stearns at the 23. They're just going to tack on more and more. This offense feels absolutely impossible to stop. I don't know how we're going to make it happen on first and 10. Mahomes out of the shotgun. It's a fake to Pacheco and looking for Rasheed Rice breaks. A tackle and is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. They extend their lead. It's going to be 28 to 13 after the PAT. And it's just too easy for Mahomes. We really need to get this offense going. And I'm not entirely sure how to go about that. It looks like it may be a double safety blitz. And it is. I'm going to look downfield for Dulcich. It's out of reach. 7 for 18 for Ryan Tanhill. It has been a tough first week for him. I'm going to look for Mims, and it's deflected by McDuffie. Third down and 10. The pass coverage has been absolutely insane. Tannehill going to step up, look to run. Doesn't have the first. It's going to be fourth down and two. At this point, I'm getting pretty desperate, and I'm going for it on fourth and two from our own 33. It's a handoff to Javante Williams. He's got the first down. 
Denver going to keep the drive alive. Maybe let's not give up on the run game just yet because the passing game is clearly not working. From the 36, we're going to hand it off to Javante Williams, and he's got a big carry. Breaks a tackle. He's to midfield before he's brought down. 75 yards on the day for him. First and 10 from the 50, and we're going to hand it off to Williams again. Gets a good block from Schwartz. It'll be second and five. Second down. Tannehill will look to throw, looking for Mims, makes the grab, has a first down. The Broncos move on. On the fresh first down from the 39, it's play action, and Tannehill will be looking to throw, knocked away from Marvin Mims. Kansas City's pass coverage has been absolutely insane. So we'll just dump it off quickly to Javante Williams. He's down to the 31. It's going to be third and one. On third and one, I'm going to trust Javante Williams. We're going to hand it off to him. And he's going to get the first down yet again. But he fumbles the ball. Oh, and it's picked up by a lineman. It is fourth and inches. On fourth and inches, we bring P. Ryan into the game. And he's going to run it up the gut. And he's got the first. First and 10 from the 26. Play action. Tannehill to throw. Open across the middle as Mims makes the catch. He's down at the set. On second down and one now. It'll be a throw for Tannehill. I'm going to roll here as Mims gets open down the field and is marked down at the one. What a cutback from Marvin Mims. Gave Ryan Tannehill a bailout target and it worked. First and goal from the one after the miracle play from Marvin Mims. And we're running it up the gut with Javante Williams. It's a touchdown for him. And Denver cutting into the lead. It's going to be 28 to 20 after the PAT, a rushing touchdown for Javante Williams. That Denver offense was very methodical, and I'm not sure if methodical can keep up with the Chiefs. From the 25, Mahomes on a screen to Pacheco, misses the throw, had a ton of pressure in his face. Second and 10, it's a handoff to Pacheco, a great block from Travis Kelsey, gives him a ton of room, and he's up to the 40. It's a first down for the Chiefs. So on first and 10 from the 40, it's a fake to Pacheco. Mahomes keeps, and he's sacked by Devin Bush. That brings the third quarter to an end, and it's second and 16 coming up. So the fourth quarter has begun, and on second and 16, out of the shotgun, Mahomes will look to throw and has his man. That's Travis Kelsey. Drew Sanders in coverage. Didn't put a hand up. Over 300 yards on the day for Mahomes. First and 10 after the big Kelsey pickup. From the 46, Mahomes to throw again out of the hands of Rasheed Rice. Second and 10 from the 46. Mahomes throwing again under some pressure, but it doesn't matter. Gets it off to MVS, who falls forward. It's going to be third and inches. Will Kansas City elect to run it here on third down and inches? They do with Pacheco. He doesn't get very far, but it's enough for a first down. Make it first and 10 once again. The Chiefs in field goal range. Denver needing to hold them to a field goal at this point. And across the middle, Mahomes finds MVS, who's brought down at the 26. It's hard to feel like we're going to make a stop, to be honest. I don't know if we'll be able to hold them to a field goal, but we're sure as heck going to try. Mahomes takes the snap, looks to throw. Looking down the field for Rice, it's knocked away by Moreau. Justin Simmons is in coverage against Kelsey. We'll see what happens there. And it is a throw to Kelsey, a great block from Isaiah Pacheco, brought down by PS2. First and 10 yet again. Over and over again, the Chiefs get first. And this time to throw right side. Rasheed Rice breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. Laid out by Drew Sanders at the 10, it's second and one. That was actually Devin Bush on the tackle, my mistake. Empty set for Mahomes. So it will be a throw here. And throwing left side caught by Rasheed Rice. It's another first down. What do you do if you are the Broncos? On first and goal from the five. Mahomes empty set again. It's a designed quarterback run. And he's going to punch it in no problem. The man can do no wrong as Kansas City extends their lead once again. Pending the PAT, it'll be 35-20. to 20, And Denver just hoping to catch up somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it. We need to score quickly, and that it has not been the strong suit of this offense so far. Nothing has happened particularly quickly. We'll dump it off to Javante Williams, who drops the ball. Second and ten. 
Looking to throw, looking for Dulcich. Makes the grab. We'll go into the hurry up. Third down and five. Denver looking to convert again. And throwing across the middle. It's inaccurate from Tannehill. It's going to be fourth and five. Pretty much have to go for it. There's almost no hope at this point either way. But looking to throw. It's caught by Schwartz. He's short of the first down. It's Kansas City ball. You know, I really wish that those drag routes would have the intuition on the receiver to make sure that they're running to the line to gain before breaking on the route, but that is obviously a lot to ask of a Madden game. The Chiefs still just throwing it every single play, even though the game is basically over at this point. Mahomes from the 26 on second down and two does not hand to Pacheco, instead completes it to MVS who is down at the one. After a false start from the Chiefs, it's first and goal from the six. I actually think them being off of the goal line is a benefit. And in this case, it's a touchdown throw to Rasheed Rice. And my God, we are getting absolutely destroyed here in Kansas City. Down by 22, it would obviously take an absolute miracle for this game to become a win. I'm going to look for Troutman. And it is inaccurate from Ryan Tannehill. Seems in this year's Madden, quite literally anything constitutes as pressure. So Tannehill just constantly under pressure. I'm gonna actually hand off to P. Ryan here. Ends up being a decent carry. So in all honesty, it doesn't matter who our quarterback is. And I could have kept Russ, but I needed to get rid of that contract somehow. Looking for Schwartz, who is a speed demon. He has the reception. First and 10 from the 43. Just dump it off to Javante. Can't make anybody miss, but does have a pickup. Also, I do want to apologize if there has been, like, some screen freezing issues in this video. Um, it appears to be a problem with the game. Third down and five. Attempted to go deep with Dulcich on that last play, but these things never work out for me. As Tannehill outrunning everyone, including Chris Jones, has a ton of running room. I tried to go out of bounds, but it's still a big run for Tannehill down to the 13. First and 10 from the 13. Obviously throwing here with Tannehill. Going to look for Judy in the end zone. It's knocked away. From the 13, Tannehill looking to throw. Dulcich is wide open in the end zone, and he makes the grab. Touchdown, Denver. You know, making it look a little bit more respectable, although this game is just basically over. Tannehill, no picks on the day. I guess that's noteworthy. This is being reviewed, and I gotta be honest, I'm not shocked because I didn't think that Dulcich got his feet down. So we shall see. It, to me, it looks like that right foot just straight up went out of bounds. They do bring back the touchdown. How about that? So on third and 10, we'll try again. Mims picked. I was just talking about how there were no interceptions for Ryan Tannehill. Nick Bolton jumps the route, and... It's going to be an interception for Tannehill, and the Chiefs take over at the 20. The score does not look respectable. That'll be game. The Kansas City Chiefs take the dub at home, 42-20. to 20. I mean, it felt close for a minute there. We went back and forth at 14-10, to 10, but my God, we just cannot stop that offense, and our offense can't seem to do anything. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. They're just going to be inaccurate. It's not an issue with the quarterback, honestly. It's, it's an issue with the game more so than anything else. But like I mentioned, it's not about the quarterback. It is about getting rid of Russell Wilson's contract. Ryan Tannehill, 15 for 35, 146, a touchdown and a pick. Patrick Mahomes had one of the best games of his career, 410 and five touchdowns. Like, my God. Rushing, Javante Williams had a decent day. Samaj P. Ryan consistently seems to get more yards per carry than Javante Williams. At a certain point, you gotta wonder if Javante Williams is the guy. I think he is, but the running game has not been great. Receiving Javante is the leading receiver in terms of receptions and in terms of yards as well. Marvin Mims, 3 for 31. Anthony Schwartz, 3 for 26. Dulcich, 3 for 34. Dorsett and Judy both only had one catch. It was a bad day. It was a bad day. It is a tough year so far to be a Broncos fan. They fall to 1 and 5 with a loss, a big loss, against the Kansas City Chiefs. And this upcoming week, it's against Green Bay. And while they are a worse team, their defense is still quite good. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching the continued support has been really awesome we just recently passed 300 subs so i do really appreciate that if you aren't subbed and you find yourself coming back on the regular hit that subscribe button it does help me out a lot i mean i am trying to hit 500 by the end of the year but i will see you guys in the next episode for our game against the packers